Yeah, you know, I don't think my feet were ever this small. It's it's just injustice that kids have such small feet. Am, am I alone in this? This is Joaquina with Modern Homemakers, and I'm doing something totally different today. I am not showing you one of my crochet patterns. I said, Joaquina, why are you putting this stuff on Pinterest if you're never going to do it? Buy gum? So I've decided to start making some of the projects that I have on Pinterest because, oh my goodness, I have pinned so many amazing looking things, and I want to do them. So there. Anyway, so keep watching, but I'm going to tell you about this pattern. So I just want to gush about these slippers, which I can totally do without being conceited because it's not my pattern. So are these adorable? They're like so simple. Let's go in and close here. Woo! I decided to do some pin or some Christmas shopping on Pinterest, if you will, this year. And I don't mean buying other people's stuff. I was like, why not go see what other free patterns are out there? So anyway, I found this free pattern. It is super easy. And um, you're going to forget that you saw these, aren't you? Because I'm working on Christmas I presents. I they're really comfortable. Oh, she doesn't want to let them go. Oh, we're going to have to work something out here. Did, did they make amnesia pills for children that are legal somehow? I, I don't know. Anyway, um, the concept is, and I'll put a link to the actual pattern, which once again is not mine. It is Petra's from Zoom Yummy. Thank you, Petra. Two thumbs up on your pattern. Anyway, it starts out in a central round. And it works up to this point, and it's almost like a little Mary Jane without the flap. And I just love how it's sockish and opening. Here, put this foot over here. Don't fall off the table. <laughs> anyway, um, so the whole concept is you're putting it here, and then we're gonna work it back here. I'll just take this one off your foot. Yay. Is it like a reverse Cinderella? Oh, the shoe fit. The slipper fit. No, anyway, so do you want to be done? Do you want to be free? Yes. Okay. Here, give me the other one. I'm scared. Continuing without my beautiful foot model who has tiny feet compared to me. Anyway, I just loved the simplicity of these slippers. So basically, you're starting off with, you know, it's variable to different sizes. You know, I've made it for the kids. I'm making one for my mom right now, and I made a pair for my husband. All out of the same pattern. It was great. Anyway, so starting with this one section, and you can choose, like, since this was for a child, I did less, whereas I did more here. And then you basically are continuing down this strip here. And this is the cool part. This is what I really loved about this pattern. So you've got like this wide strip here. And then all you did was stitch it closed and that naturally formed the heel. I mean, the simplicity of this is mind boggling. So there was a knit pair of slippers that my grandma had when I was growing up and I just loved them. And it was like the same type of thing. And I was like, oh, it's a knit thing. You can't do it with crochet. It's one of those knit patterns. And I'm too lazy to learn to knit, even though my friend Kira taught me the first thing and I can do that much. But anyway, so I was just really excited because this embodied those little slippers. And let's face it, it's getting cold and I do not want two pairs of socks on. Yeah, you know, I was talking with my sister the other day. She's like, oh, I want slippers now. And I said, trace your foot and send it to me. Anyway, but it's like, it's just going to cover your toes. It's not going to be all the way up again, like a sock. And I like that because I'm generally hot, but right now my extremities are cold. It's like just my toes, not my whole foot. So rambling. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, anyway, but, um, so it's that really simple and then the closure and then, um, just a chance to give it a color pop. She has the single crochets around here, and I just thought that was darling. So for my mom's pair, her favorite color is red. And I'm in an accident with black. Shh, don't tell her. Don't tell her that. It's really hard to do surprises when you make your own stuff. It's, it's downright impossible. So anyway, I've got a quilt I'm making in the other room. I, I guess I give up on surprises because you know what? It's better that you get a present than that you have a surprise. So just stop complaining, everyone. There you go. So like I said, this pattern is totally variable to sizes. Um, I should have brought down my husband's pair. Let's just say his feet are much bigger than this. Uh, anyway, but it was great because same pattern. I literally have it memorized by this point, but I'm not going to tell you because it's Petra's pattern. And I want you to go visit her website to get the pattern. Um, anyway, but I just loved how same pattern just literally... Um, 
I like to make sure that the it went past the kind of the bony joint on the foot when I was making it for him. And another thing I did different with his was this is just one row of single crochet. And his, I think it's because he has wider feet and I probably should have adapted the pattern to have a bit more width to it from the beginning, like maybe in the circle phase. But um, I fixed that problem by just adding another row of the single crochet in there. So that's what I changed. That's what I liked. I love the simplicity and um, I just love how adorable they are and just different yarn. I mean, totally different effect. Oh, another thing I did on my husband's, because I wanted to use scrap yarn, I started and I went like this far into the slipper with blue and then I switched to green and I thought that was really fun and then I edged it all in green. Um, and if I weren't so lazy, I would go upstairs and get you those slippers, but it's been a long day and I just, I can't bring myself to go up and down those stairs again for you. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Um, anyway, so love these slippers. Two thumbs up. Go check out Petra at Zoom Yummy. I will throw a link to a link or something like that in the description. And I have to take a moment and self promote here. Just finished my crochet superhero book and it's really fun. Um, I have a mask, a cape, a utility belt with a pouch and a sword sheath and a crochet sword. Um, anyway, Every one of these things has a, um, a video link to there that it's in there. So I'll put um, something at the end of this video so you can go find this. Maybe another link. We'll just link it up here. But um, this is on Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime or Kindle Unlimited, you can get this for free. I like free. And I will do a free promotion at some point of the book and I'll try to remember to let everyone know. Fingers crossed there that I remember that. But check it out and this is super if you've watched any of my crochet videos you know that i like to make things simple and not confusing and um i've got pictures in here of my son that's the fun thing i made this for him so if you get the book there are lots of pictures of him and that's the ebook i'll put a link to um anyway but i hope you check it out and enjoy it but full video tutorials like i've done for all my other stuff but um, it's really hard to find crochet boy patterns, I have found. It's really frustrating now that I have a little boy. It's like, he doesn't want a princess crown. Well, maybe he does, but he's not going to get one. So anyway, I hope you check it out and go check out Petra because awesome, awesome Christmas present idea. And there's, I mean, this is such a fast project that you totally have time to do this before Christmas or just for fun for yourself for winter. Maybe you don't want to give anyone presents. Maybe your feet are cold. And you deserve a pair of slippers that take just a short amount of time to make. Have fun!